housing market in Greenville, North Carolina, August 2023. But first, let's hit it. Welcome to our channel and podcast. And if this is your first time in our podcast YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and get notified. Also, you can call or text all the time at 252-327-3357. We love talking to you. Do not be shy. Also, don't forget to get our buyer's guide and seller's guide in the description below. Exactly. And without further ado, we wanted to basically go over some statistics and give you some recommendation for you as a home buyer or home seller in the market of your Greenville, North Carolina. And we're also just giving you market data on what is going on right here, right now. Because you hear all these national news like, oh, prices are falling in Arizona and suddenly that Phoenix market is not us here in Greenville or vice versa. Or So we should know what's going on right here, right now in our market. And that's what these numbers tell us. And as we know, all the market runs by supply and demand. Mm -hmm. And that's what we were going to start from the inventory that we had uh, four months of the July, the months that we passed and we have data on it. So my husband went back to his old format when I look at the data and the numbers, which is very confusing to me, but it's okay. So July 2023, the active homes in the MLS that are for sale in Greenville was 127. Last year, last month, there was 95. So I have to go above and then below, it's 145 for last year. Exactly. And what about pending? What about those houses under contract? the contract or pending? It was 96 houses in July 2023 and 98 no, last and year. Last year and last month was 92. Okay, so just more of the data. So the homes that just these sold. two basically tells you the inventory, the active homes and and basically under the contract. But you have to also compare it to sold homes, right, in order to get your true data. So sold data for last month was 75. The last month before that, when June was 123, and then the year before that was 137. So now what does active plus pending divided by supply, divided by that sold exactly. give us? Exactly, therefore my wife is giving you, try to you, a formula, which is inventory rate. And inventory rate, in July 2023 was 2.97 months. So it slowed down. We see it's a slowdown. Um, June 2023, 1.52 months. But we're going to get into why a little bit more into this And the data. last year this time was 177. And apparently we had the more inventory. And the reason is we had less sold home. That's why. Otherwise, the active and under the contract was lower than the month before. Also, do not we have um, we have less supply or more supply of new construction. So exactly. there's another data there that's all new construction, and that's where we're getting our inventory from. So now with that, the average day is on the market, and we're going to get into if you're previous if you're selling your home, we have to obviously be ready to compare to that new construction, but. There's that too. So July 2023, the average days on the market for all homes, new and pre-owned, was 75. Which is another factor to tell you what is the pace of the market. And as my wife said last year, this time was 11 days. Therefore, we, our market got much more slower. And the previous month was 89 days. Which means it did get faster, faster as well. So we months. have more inventory, but it's faster than the previous month. Which is, again, more confusing data, but it all comes back to that new construction that's being built in our area. Exactly. Now, the median list price in July increased from the previous month by a little bit. Um, June 2020, July 2023, it was $290,140 in Greenville. The median sale was two ninety, so they're exactly. almost together. Um, the month before that was three nineteen and two eighty two. So you can see numbers are still increasing. Um, and yes. then overall for that sale price. Um, and then July 2023, you had a 304 for the median list, but 250 for the actual sales price. So you can see overall, we've had how much appreciation? Therefore, median sale price, 16% increase we had respect to the last year. Now, let's talk about what I told you earlier, the new construction, new construction, new construction, because you want to know what the price per square foot is and how much inventory is broken down by new versus previously owned. So with that, what is the... The square footage of all new construction homes. 
exactly all new construction brand new in greenville 161 which is include the townhouse condo and single family and homes. what is it just for single family homes? and for single family homes new again 161 in now greenville, if you're all if you ain't a pre-owned home which means you've lived in it already um this is obviously a different number so for all home types it's 145 now for previously owned it was 160 dollars a square foot for a single family family home. So if you're talking about selling your own home, I would look at that 160 number. But now also let's talk about this new constru the new construction supply versus the previously owned home supply. Exactly. Therefore, we gave you the inventory rate. Now we're going to give you like more how many months we have the supply in the market. And as of right now, in July 2023, basically we had 2.1 months of the new construction in the market. Right. Um, the previous month before that, what was it? Uh, was just 1.8. Therefore, we a little bit increased the new construction it respect to that. A uh, little bit, 14%. 14 per I mean, when you go from 1.8 to 2.1, as 14 percent exactly. okay so previously owned home is a little different so this month we are july 2023 at 0.8 months of supply so a little bit more than the previous month which was um, 0.7 months but the month before that was 0.7 so it is actually still a 12 percent increase but it is you know a small from percentage wide from 0.7 to 0.8 or 0.8 to 0.7 exactly but overall really we had including a new construction and pre-owned home we had one month of supply versus the previous month's 0.8. Therefore, we had like a 20% increase. Really. Okay, so we're there's some interesting facts that are coming up, especially if you're a renter, because that is something we definitely need to talk about. But let's talk about, before we get to that, medium home value. What exactly. happened there? Exactly. This is According for, to Zillow. for really appreciation that what you have. Based on the uh, July 2023, the mean home value in Greenville is $226,705. Which is a decrease from the previous month of $228,359. Now, this is just one website doing their analytics without being boots on the ground. That's why I mentioned where it came from. But if you're looking at year over from July last year to July this year, you ha you are looking at 7.6% of appreciation. Now, if you're a first time home buyer and you're renting and you're thinking maybe I should just stay renting, here's the thing why you shouldn't. Um, median rent for all bedrooms, all prices in Greenville right now is $1,500 a month. Um, this is a month over month change of what? We had $125 increase respect to the months of, from months of June to July in 2023. And now I understand that when you buy a home, it's going to cost a little bit more that first couple of years you're rent you're buying because it's not going to be $1,500. It's going to be more, but at the end of the day, it's going to stay fixed. And as those rents increase, you're going to see over time, you actually made a better choice by actually buying your own home. Exactly. Um, and then also you're getting appreciation factor and so many more factors out there. So I just want to throw that out there because that $125 month over month change is a lot. Now, let's look at all this data, breaking it down as a recommendation, what we see in the market of the Greenville, North Carolina. And we wanted to start for the, with home buy. Okay, so timing is really the first thing we want to talk about because there's a larger selection of homes in the market. Inventory rate has increased. It is still a seller's market, but it is a slightly better position if you're a buyer and you want to take your time and you want to shop and say, what about this one or this one or this one? You have more options now. And the reason is we went from 1.52 months of the inventory to 2.97 months of inventory. And the real in reason is, of course, those interest rates. Um, exactly. Interest rates are not part of our list, but obviously that's holding home buyers back. So you do have less competition out there. Um, so there's that. It is becoming more of a norm, though. And so people are just you know bucking trend and saying i'm going to buy a house because i need to buy a house and and dealing with it exactly let's talk about the pricing for the home buyers the median sell price actually saw a 16 percent of increase year over year while the mean home value in the market increased from last year to this year 7.6 percent so either way we see prices and appreciation increasing so when you are a home owner it's always good to actually you know take care of your place and make sure it's the best because exactly. you're just causing more appreciation and more more money in your pocket 
Let's talk about the home types. What do you have the suggestion for the home buyers? Um, new construction is 31% of all of the United States right now. And this is still something that's happening here in Greenville area. We have new construction increased 12.5%. It is lower than previous months. But if you are seriously about buying a home, I would seriously consider new construction because that's just where the market is right now. That's the home types we have. And I know buying new construction is a different beast. We have a whole video on it um, above. Um, but yeah, it, it's a it's where the, the, the numbers are right now. And if you're looking at the pricing per square footage really cross the board for all type of home, we are looking at $161 for the new construction and $160 for pre-owned home which is really is a yes, fair pricing. And right, so, but if you're in that rental market where you're paying a lot of money and year over year increases and month over month increases, it's really just time to, if you can get into a house at an affordable rate, definitely do that. Now, let's uh, shift gear toward the home seller, what we see based off the market and the statistic that we set here. Okay, so we told you earlier that there was a median sales price increase by 16% from last year. So people are still putting their homes for the market. They're still, you're still getting top dollar. Exactly. But if you're looking at the market timing for all type of a home, really the average days on the market significantly increased from 11 days in average that last year to this year to 75 days. But that just honestly gives you more time to just plan your move instead of just think. So I mean, the, the longer time period is scarier, but also it's good for you too, because now you can plan your move better. Exactly. Now we look, let's look at the price adjustment. No, what, what we saw in the, or reduction in the market, what we saw, I mean. There's uh, a 40% increase in inventory, um, in, in the inventory rate. We are going slightly more towards a buyer's market. We are still in a seller's market. There's only less than three months of supply. We're talking about six months of supply, but it is stronger in your favor now. If you're exactly, a, it's still strong in your favor as a seller. Um, price adjustments. And now what we see this month in the July that we had 25 increase of the price reduction, means 20 houses, they reduce the price, which suggests that sometimes they overpriced, the home sellers, they overpriced. And that's super important that you uh, basically ensured that you price it competitively and realistically for the market. Okay, so rent versus sell. There's a month over month, $125 month over month increase. Exactly. If you are look if you are looking to sell, I would not be looking into another, you know, just going into a rental market because you're going to lose money that way. Um seriously consider buying another house that way you can, you know, move transitionally where you're still earning appreciation the whole time. Exactly. Do you want it to add anything? No, I think we did an amazing job with Greenville and I hope you love it because that's what we like to do. And thank you for here uh, to be good audience for our podcast and YouTube. And don't forget to subscribe and call us at 252-327-3357. We are here to help you.